an Uber winner? You guessed it, Uber, whose net revenue nearly tripled to $1.5 billion in 2015 and sports a valuation of $65 billion. The firm's achieved this remarkable growth with only 4,000 employees who generate almost $18 million each in market capitalization. To put that into perspective, GM has over 200,000 employees who generate just $214,000 each of shareholder valuation. Amazon has 222,000 employees who generate $1.4 million each. The business heroes of yesterday put hundreds of thousands, if not millions of households on this planet. The heroes of today are making a very few exceptionally rich. It used to be a bunch of beautiful sailboats in the water. Now it's a few yachts with a lot of people taking on water. So who's the loser here? The 1.1 million Uber driver partners who are contractors, not employees. As rates go down with UberX, drivers lured with the promise of money, flexibility, and control over their lives are finding a different reality, one with substantially less income. A loser, traditional advertising. Further evidence that the industrial advertising complex is unwinding. In 2015, Google's share of all digital ad revenue was 30% and Facebook's was 10%. On mobile, Google and Facebook combined account for over half, 51% of global ad revenue. Mobile is so important to Google that it pays Apple a billion dollars to be the default search engine on the iPhone. This is again a winner-take-all sector in a winner-take-all economy. The big winners in the war for talent, Facebook and Uber. With all the talk of Twitter execs leaving this week, we decided to scrape data from LinkedIn and examine the migration patterns among the big four, Amazon, Google, Facebook, and Apple. Our research reveals that in absolute terms regarding retention, Facebook is the big winner. The biggest winner overall, however, is Uber, where fully 14% of the staff migrated from one of the gang of four, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, or Google. If you want a job at Uber, go to work for one of the big four. The big loser, Yahoo, who appears to be more of a recruiting firm than a media firm. A winner, Mark Zuckerberg's stylist. Mark Zuckerberg recently shared a peek into his closet as he marked his first day back to the office from paternity leave. By the way, I think he's just so fucking obnoxious about this old dad thing. Get over it. A lot of us have kids. His closet features nine identical gray t-shirts and seven gray hoodies. The post garnered over 1 million likes and 74,000 comments. It's proven science that the more decisions you can take out of your life, the better judgment you have around the remaining decisions. You should have a uniform and just stick to it. I myself limit my closet to Jordash jeans, skeletons, and anything licensed by Paco Rabanne. We'll see you next week. You've got the look I want to know better. You've got the look that's all together. Working, playing. Ooh. Mm -hmm.